Hello and welcome to Michael Pepper Tech. Today I have a couple things I want to show you having to do with the Tab S7 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Book 360 and the second screen mode on the Tab S7 Plus. I'll be showing you um, how to set that up, how it works, what you can do with it. And stay tuned through the whole video because at the end I'll also have a surprise feature using that mode with another device and some things that nobody has really talked about with that. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first things first, to get this set up, I'm gonna go on the Tab S7 Plus, swipe down here, swipe over, you'll see an icon called Second Screen. You tap that, it will pop up. You can choose Drawing and Gaming for faster response or Video for smoother playback. I'm just gonna leave it on Video. And then over on the laptop here, which you can do this with basically any Windows laptop, I am going to go into the settings here for projecting, which in this case, um, there's the icon for it, but you can also go over to the side into the settings and project, connect to wireless display. You got to make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network and Bluetooth is on. You can do this in a car if you have a hotspot as well, and it works really well. And then I'm going to select my tablet here, and you'll see connecting to your device. And over here on the Tab S7 Plus, you will see that it's now acting as a second screen. So if I bring my mouse over, you can see my mouse is working on it. I can go down and I can open up Chrome on my laptop. And let's say I want it over here. I just drag it over there. Now Chrome is on here and you can use touch. And it's only plugged in because the battery was low on my Tab S7 Plus. So I could unplug that and walk away and it would work perfectly fine. So that's one way of using it. Also, if you have a desktop, you could do that and then walk into another room and use it as kind of a remote desktop, but on the local network. It's quite responsive. The only thing is, you know, your audio playback is going to be through your... Um, is going to default through your computer until you change it to the digital output to output through your tablet. So I have another quick tip here I want to show you. Let me break this stuff down and we'll get a closer up on the tab screen and I'll get into that. Be right back. So another instance here would be if you have any of the Samsung S line or Note line that can do wireless decks and any of the tablets that can do the second screen function. So you go into the tablet, go over here, you'll see second screen again. We're gonna hit that, turn that on, select whatever your preferred mode is. Then on your phone, you're going to go find where it says decks, make sure your Bluetooth and everything is on. Going to launch that. It's going to come up with Dex on PC. You're going to hit the little three button hamburger menu here. Do switch to TV or monitor. And now my tablet shows up. I hit that. I'm going to hit start now. Give it a second. It's going to ask me to accept over on the tablet. I hit accept. And now you'll see it flash up and it switches over to Dex mode. Now, yes, the tablet has its own Dex mode. But if you have stuff on your phone that you want to access on your tablet, this is really handy. Or if you're in the car and let's say you want to stream video or do whatever and you want to be in dex mode, this way it's mirroring from your phone to your tablet and... If you don't have unlimited hotspot, but you have unlimited data on your phone, it's using your phone's data, and it will connect wirelessly through Wi-Fi Direct. 
And so I like to do this and then I'll just have my phone docked up by the front of the vehicle in a car dock or I can have it in my pocket or even drop it down in my bag and just be using my tablet and everything works. You know, you can see here I can touch, you know, launch my apps here. You know, do whatever you need to do in Dex mode and then when you're done, just exit out of it and you're back to your tablet. So this has been a couple uses for the second screen function, including one little kind of hidden feature that nobody really talks about. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.